<sighs> Morning. I'm planning on making an intro for all my videos. Um, yeah, they're not all gonna be this lazy. <sighs> Some good coffee. Hey everyone, and uh, back here again in my room, this time at a different angle just to get a good lighting. So, I'm here to talk about something a little bit serious. Nah, who am I kidding? I'm never serious, right? <laughs> okay, um, today we're going to be talking about a uh, culture that is commonly practiced in, in Asia, okay, Asian countries. So, yeah, I got this inspiration because uh, my English teacher in school, Teacher Lawrence, um, has been giving us a lot, quite a lot of work about the, this street ace culture and uh, I, I think that I should voice some of my opinion on, about this so here we go for those of you who are watching before you scroll down to the comment section and leave comments like I'm not thinking straight or I'm insensitive or I don't respect others um, <clears throat> just so you know I am just voicing out my opinion I respect everyone's opinion here Okay, I respect everyone's opinion. If you want to support the culture, go ahead. For me, I'm not in the culture, despite everyone around me being in it. So, yeah, rebel. <laughs> but I'm just kidding. But, yeah, I really do not like this culture and I think it should stop. Um, here's why. But what is street aid culture? For those of you who do not know what street aid culture is, it is com it's a culture that's commonly practiced in Asia, like I said. Uh, parents forcing their kids to get excellent marks right off the bat out of nowhere so let, let, picture this situation to me you have exam today right if you don't get 95 and above don't come home okay good day yeah is, is, is that necessary no no it's not forcing your kid to get good grades off the bat is not a good thing because you know the problems this culture is so commonly practiced that so many kids that I know of they are so stressed out because when they go home right after exams they will feel so stressed or even depressed if they don't reach their parents expectations so like I gave the example one of my friends uh, I'm not saying who uh, his parents told him shit <laughs> his parents told him to score at least at 93 or 94 and above yeah and uh hey it's out of a hundred not a thousand so damn that's pretty high right off the bat isn't it um that's just my opinion but for me um this kind of culture causes a lot of problems uh, let me listen them up for you it could be stress it could be depression it could also be uh, the lack of knowledge uh, the lack of general knowledge of the outside world um, what does that mean which means you only study and you don't know how to do anything else but study so yeah um, all these problems can be caused even make the kids suicidal um, there have been a cases um, uh, around Malaysia especially like um, when the parents tell the kids to score excellent marks and they don't um, the kids um, jump off the building so yeah it's not so good to give your kids stress don't you think and uh, because hey as a student myself uh, we try hard okay we try our best and we try and uh, meet our parents expectations but if we don't we'll try harder next time okay give us encouragement not stress come on guys so yeah these are the problems that you can cause which is extremely dangerous in my opinion how I suggest ways to overcome this culture is um, I'm not gonna say it's simple but it starts off with someone right um, we need to learn how to relax which means whenever we get exams or anything we try to relax don't stress out ourselves the more we relax and the more we relax when we study we will get um, we, we get to remember more you know stressing yourself out when you study is not gonna help trust me I know although I'm stupid um, we also need to learn how to try new things, which means everything outside the school. Like if you want to be a chef one day, uh, other than just studying, uh, you must work on your studying, but you also try new things. You learn how to cook, learn how to cook various kinds of dishes. You can try anything, you know, and talk to your parents about it, telling them to lower down the goals. 
Like, let's just say your parents tell you to score at least a 70. And if you score 75 and above, or 70 and above, um, hey, they're going to be really happy. So you always try your best after one in an exam, that's what I mean. So this is just my, my opinions on this culture. So before I end it right here, I just want to tell you guys that um, please learn to relax, live life, live a happy life, try your best. When there's a will, there's a way. Why am I sounding so wise? I don't know where. Um, and there's a will, there's a way. Whatever you want to be in the future, work hard, try and get there. You all, you all could do it. So, this is reason this over here. Peace out. And uh, don't forget to like the video if you did. Share it if you think it's useful. Please share it. And uh, there's also a comment section there. You can leave any comment you want. I wouldn't mind if you leave negative or positive because I read them anyways. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Reason News over here, you can subscribe. And then, um, yeah, that's just it from me here. Peace out, everyone.